If you're going to be working with a silky fabric, this is pure silk satin. It does slip and move around a lot. Absolutely beautiful. But if you are a new sewer, you are going to struggle with this. They slip around. When you're putting them together under the sewing machine, they're going to move around. But once you've got a little bit of sewing experience, if you just choose a simple shape like this, this is just basically two rectangles where more fabric has been allowed in the front piece to allow for the drape. Hence, the drape quality produces the lovely scooping neckline. If you made this from a really stiff fabric, you wouldn't get that lovely, lovely soft drape down the front. So, worth having a go in a luxurious fabric. You need to choose the right kind of sewing needle for different fabrics. For a lovely soft silk like this, you would need a fine needle and a fine thread because if you used a big needle, the big needle would make large puncture holes in the fabric that wouldn't disappear. And also you need a lovely sharp needle because a blunt needle will cause the fabric to click. When working with stretchy fabrics, this is one of our scuba jerseys. Stretchy fabrics, again, can seem quite daunting to work with when you're first starting out. But once you've just experimented a few times and got to know about the fabrics, this is basically the stretch on a scuba jersey. It's got absolutely tons and tons of stretch. This fabric is really, really easy care fabric as well. Wonderful to just pop in the washing machine, pull it out, it dries in two minutes. Great, great fabric for everyday wear, or you could choose a, a more complex design, make a fantastic evening wear. I was recently at a wedding, somebody was wearing one of our scuba jerseys. When you sew in a stretch fabric, you really need to think about the, the seams on the garment, because you're going to be moving around a lot in it. If it's going to stretch, the seam needs to stretch with you. The, ma the machine that we have here is just a standard lock stitch, which is just basically an up and down straight stitch. But when you're sewing a jersey fabric, you need to choose a zigzag stitch. The zigzag stitch, when pulled like a concertina, will open out, thus allowing for the length of the stretch in your garment. If you just use your standard lock stitch, the up and down stitch, when you pull it, the stitches will just break apart from one another and then you will end up with openings in your seams. When you get even more experienced and you want to start spending a little bit more on your sewing equipment, me and one of my, and actually a few of my colleagues at work here, we've invested in overlockers. They are quite an expensive piece of kit, coming down in price an awful lot, but they're a fantastic piece of kit. An overlocker is a machine that has at least four threads and the four threads wrap around the seam, enclosing the seam, making a neat finish. It also, it cuts first and then it wraps around the seam. But due to the stitch on an overlocker, it has something called differential feed, which just means that when the fabric is under the machine, it differs how much it feeds in and thus allowing for the stretch. Absolutely fantastic piece of kit. Might be something you wanna work up to. If you're like me and you love fabric, get to FabWorks online.